practice has been going well. Um, practice always seems to go well, though, you know. Um, yeah, I, typically, you know, just to give you guys an example, we had we probably had the best – Roman's over here, he can vouch for me. We probably had the best three practices before a game leading up to Washington State. And then we, <laughs> so we're all we're all excited and and and, and feeling good, and then, and then and then it doesn't we didn't we didn't play well that that particular game, but uh, but practice is going well. The guys are working hard. The guys are working hard. They're giving us energy. They're they're, they're getting after it. Um, practice has been going well. Um, I think with us, the biggest thing is is putting together two halves. You know, putting together two halves. You know, we 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 come out of the, the starting blocks. And, and we're fighting and competing and, 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 and things are good and, and we build leads. And then, you know, the other team makes a run, which, which, which you expect. And it just seems like we just, once, once the other team makes a run, it's hard for us to kind of get, get back to uh, uh, what, what we did to start the game. And so, as a staff, we look at it and we say, okay, so where did, where did it turn and what patterns are we seeing? Because we always seem to have really good starts and first halves. And, it, and, and, and it, it comes down to being able to limit our wasted possessions because we have situations where we'll build a lead and then all of a sudden they'll hit a three and then we'll go down and we'll turn it over. And then we may get a stop, may not get a stop, and then we'll go down and, and we won't get the best shot. You know, um, it'll be a contested shot. And then they'll score and then we'll come, up, we'll come down and turn it over again. And, and, and we're, we're starting to see this pattern. And, you know, I'm telling the guys, okay, when we get into that part of the game that we can all kind of see it coming, that's when we really have to slow down and, 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 and just, just, just not get sped up, not get sped up. Um, you know, we have a young team, and I think the, the biggest difference between a young team and a veteran team is a young team allows the other team to speed them up. A veteran team doesn't allow you. They've seen it too many times. They've got too many reps under their belt. They've got too many minutes logged. I've seen that double team before. I've seen that trap before. I've seen uh, the double in the post before. I've seen the hard scrape in the post before. So I'm not going to let that speed me up and take me out of what I know I need to do. And too many times we allow teams to speed us up. And so we show it on film and we talk about it and we replicate it in practice. So we try to get our guys reps in practice so, you know, we'll have blue team, we'll have gold team, and gold team will be the other team. And we'll say, okay, this is what they're going to do. This is when the traps are going to happen. This is when they're going to double down on the post. And we just try to get our guys reps so that when it happens in the game, it's nothing, it's not new to them. They, they, they feel comfortable being able to make a play out of those situations. And so, um, you know, just we're getting, we're getting those reps, you know, and, 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 and hopefully – Long term, you know, we're learning from them. Uh, but the most important thing is just not getting sped up. I tell Darius all the time, slow down, slow down. You're, you're quick, you're fast, but you don't always have to be, you know. Um, my young guys, Dre, when he gets doubled in the post, he, he gets, you know, gets tense. I'm like, hey, just make a play, man. You're good, you know, you've got good hands, you've got good feet. You're a good passer. You see the floor. You'll be fine. And so, um, really, it just it just comes down to to uh, not getting sped up, um, not getting sidetracked with what the game plan is. Um, with us, you know, a lot of times you'll see, you know, Justice plays well against Arizona, but but nobody else necessarily plays well. Darius has 23 points and seven steals against UCLA, but you had a couple other guys that played well, but, but you know, he was obviously the spotlight. And so for us, the goal is to have everyone play well on the same night.
Paris play a solid game along with Darius, along with Matt, along with Connor, along with Dre, along with Justice, along with Juwan, along with Roman. Um, that's that's the goal. And for us, um, being such a young team, that's that's what it's going to have to take for us to uh, to be able to get some wins. And so that's what we're preaching right now. And, you know, we started practice uh, on Monday. And I, and I had to remind the guys, I said, I, said, I said, fellas, we just lost to a very good basketball team in Washington. We lost to a veteran team. We lost to Noah Dickerson's a senior, Dominic Green's a senior, Matisse Stiebel's a senior, David Chris a senior, Jalen Noel's talented, young guy. And those seniors, when they were sophomores, won nine games with the number one pick in the draft in their lineup as well. So it's a process. It doesn't, it doesn't happen overnight. Um, they turned those nine wins into 21 as juniors when they got over the hump and became uh, upperclassmen. And, and, and that's, that's what I'm hoping for for our, for our group, that you know, we just continue to, to get reps, continue to gain experience, um, because you can't, you can't replicate that. You, can't, you just have to go through it. And, um, you know, but, but the spirit is there. Um, the fight is there. Uh, we've, had some, we've had some really good practices. We have to be able to put together two halves. And when a team makes a run, we have to be able to, to, to come back from that run. Uh, against UCLA, 58-54, cut it to four, and couldn't get over the hump. Um, and, I, and I really think that, that – that when we are able to win a game, I think we can take some momentum from that and um, and hopefully do some good things after. I I always every time I see every time I see a team make a run, it's like okay, let me let me let me call a timeout and 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 and, and get us regrouped, you know, refocused, and um, you know, but. But at the end of the day, we still got to go out and make plays. We still got to go out and make plays. Um, but yeah, usually I'll call a timeout and just try to slow us down a little bit and and and, and give us some, you know, give the guys some guidance, some structure. Um, you know, so. Roman, I thought Roman was great against Washington, and and we watched we watched the film. Um, I always do what we call a good, bad, ugly edit, and um, it's it's good plays, bad plays, and if it's something that's just kind of <laughs> unbelievable, we, I, I, I put it in the ugly edit. And uh, Roman was in, in 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 a lot of the good edit, and and it wasn't necessarily. Um, him scoring or, or, or doing something that's very obvious, it's just a, a, a great box out. You know, doing a great job on the defensive end, just having active hands and active feet, staying in front of Noah Dickerson and, and, and not allowing him to catch. Um, he had one where he got a foul on a hard, on a hard um, box out. But, but I like the fact that he had the toughness and the energy and effort and willingness to do it. And so... I even put that in, even though it was a foul. You know, we need more of that. We need more fight. We need more um, messages sent to the other team that, you know, you're not just going to push us around and, and, and we're just going to accept it. And so, you know, Roman's been here forever, and, 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 and uh, he's always had that fight. Um, but, you know, it, it's good to see him be able to get out on the court and show it. And... Um, you know, moving forward, I really hope that he continues to, to give us something. It 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 all you know the decision to start Roman on Saturday was was he was the only one that really fought on Thursday. Really, just that simple. He was the only one that really had fight and and and. Um, toughness on Thursday at Washington State. And so I say, we need more of that. So we need to put put him in the lineup. In the past, you've talked about how quickly they were changing from defense or focus mm -hmm. to shooting. Is there anything you've seen that's turned that focus heading into kind of this? 
This week we've been focusing on being pressured and being able to handle pressure. You know, we had, we started practice off today with a four four against four drill where it's just you can't dribble. You just have to, you know, handle pressure and be able to make a pass out of pressure. Uh, we worked a lot on traps and being able to pass out of traps uh, for our guards. Um, so really just, just like, like what, I, what, I, what I talked about earlier, just not getting sped up or when teams are trying to speed us up, being able to stay calm, make the right play, keep our composure. You've got the ball. You dictate what's going to happen next. Um, don't, you know, feed into uh, the pressure or succumb to the pressure. Well, he's, he's a great floor general. I mean, he's one of the best in the, in the league as far as um, running a team. And, and, and when you talk about point guards, he's he's probably one of the more valuable point guards, you know, uh, for his team, for when you, when you talk about what he brings to the team. Um, you know, they shoot the ball well. Uh, they're undersized like us. So, so it's, it's a good matchup in, in, in that regard. Um, you know, Seward is a, a kid who – he plays the five for them, but he but he shoots he shoots he's their best shooter, uh, so they can spread you, um, and they're very well coached and and you know, uh, but you know I like I like the matchup, um, you know we struggle against dominant bigs and 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 uh, so I, I like the matchup. Now when you're working with pressure, do you expect pressure from them? They trap. They trap ball screens. Yeah, they trap ball screens. They, they random. They pick and choose when, but they they they'll random trap ball screens and, and they'll press. They'll press some as well, which I don't I don't mind being pressed. I feel I feel comfortable with 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 Paris being out there and and and, and our wings being able to handle handle the press. Jacoby. He's going to be a game time decision. Um, he's been his, he's, his his Achilles has flared up a little bit on him, so uh, we'll see how he feels tomorrow at shoot around. I take it one game at a time. Um, I've seen Utah. I've watched them play against the teams that we've already played, and they're a very talented team. And they play well together. They've always been one of the teams, better teams in the league as far as playing together and, 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 and playing through their system. Um, but really just kind of focusing on, on Colorado and, and, and see how that goes and then go from there.